Good morning. This is regarding temporary faculty recruitment from University of Madras, that is Institute of Distance Education. In the recruitment, University of Madras is the temporary faculty position at the assistant professor level. So, this is only for the period of 120 days, that is one semester. So, only for one semester. This is applicable for only one semester, that is 120 days. Matuna and the call for Panirkanga. And table of disciplines and number of posts. So, these are the number of posts they have given. Economics, History, Commerce, Computer Science, Mathematics, Psychology, English, Management Studies, Political Science, Public Administration. So, up to this Management Studies, number of posts is 3. This Political Science and Public Administration, number of posts is 2. Music, Geography, number of posts is 3. Then, Cyber Forensics, number of posts is 2. Sociology post is 3. Sanskrit and Saiva Siddhanta is 2. Journalism and Mass Communication or Visual Communication is 3. Christian Studies, number of posts is 2. Human Rights and Distance Education, Criminology, number of posts is 2. Tamil, Regular, number of posts is 3. French, Anthropology, Education, so number of posts is 2. So, the total number of posts applicable uh, available is 61. Number of posts available is 61 and this is from University of Madras faculty position at assistant professor level. This is only purely for full time temporary basis for 120 days that is only for one semester. And these are the general instructions given by the university. Either this eligibility you can have either A or B. So, you can have the eligibility as either A or B. So, either you can satisfy A or B. So, A, what is there in A? Abdina? Master's degree with 55 percentage marks. Next, this qualification, the candidates must have cleared net, slet, set, CSIR. So, anyone. So, you have to clear, you must have the certificates, cleared certificates of, from CSIR or slet or set. Next, the PhD candidate has been awarded in the regular mode. So, regular mode la irukano. Next, PhD thesis. That should have been evaluated by two external examiners. Actually, number thesis anapam mode external examiners in the So, that should be at least two external examiners. Next, PhD viva wise should be conducted. Open viva wise. So, this are the qualification that is eligibility. So, PhD or viva wise must be open. Next, the candidate has published two research papers. Number of PhD work, we must have published two research papers. Next, the candidate has presented at least two papers based on his or her PhD work in conference. So, number of PhD work, Number of papers, two papers must have been presented in conferences or seminars uh, sponsored, funded, supported by UGC, ICSSR or CSIR. So, anyone. These are called as eligibility A. Then what is eligibility B? So, eligibility B, the, the PhD has been recorded, uh, obtained from the foreign university or institution. So, you can obtain PhD from foreign institution. But that institution should be among top 500 in the world university ranking. So you can get your PhD degree from any foreign university or institution. But that ranking should be among top 500 in the world university ranking at any time. So at any time by any one of the following. That is QES, Times Higher Education, Academic Ranking of World University. Next, Shanghai Geo Tong University. So, this is eligibility A and this is eligibility B. So, apart from this, you can refer the appendix in this Madras University. And this is consolidated remuneration. So, since it is temporary basis, it has only consolidated remuneration. That is per month, you will be getting only 30,000. So, you will be getting 30,000 per month. And the nature of appointment is purely temporary for only one semester. And these are the selection procedures. So, what they are going to do. So, candidates will be shortlisted based on their academic credentials. The selected candidates must join immediately. Next, these are general rules which they will give for the government rules. And the last date for this is 5-1-2022. So, your completed application should reach there by 5-1-2022 address to Registrar University of Madras, Chepak, Chennai, 5. So, this is what they have given in the Madras University for official uh, 
applications and everything you can check this madras university website thank you